In the recent episode of Invincible, when Invincible met up with Anissa, who came to Earth to check on his progress of the task he was given by the Viltramites, and to convince him to join the Viltramites' empire, she mentioned that another Viltramite would come to check on his progress, and if he is still resistant, it won't be good for him or Earth. And yes, she's right. The Viltramites' empire did send another Viltramite to Earth, and this Viltramite is none other than Conquest. Now, before I get into Invincible's encounter with Conquest, who exactly is Conquest? Conquest was born on Viltrum, and was one of the few Viltramites who survived the Scourge virus. After the infection left his system, Conquest found himself vulnerable, and his strength greatly diminished. Arriving on a planet inhabited by the Ragnar, his right arm was ripped off, his face permanently scarred, and he was blinded in his right eye. Conquest was then given a cybernetic hand to make up for the one he had lost to Ragnar. Conquest, being one of the oldest Viltramites, and having helped the Empire conquer countless planets regardless of their strength, made him one of the strongest and most respected Viltramites. After Anissa's feedback on Invincible's progress towards the task he was given, General Craig was disappointed by Invincible's resistance. After some time passed, Conquest was sent to check on Invincible's progress on Earth. Conquest is to assume the duties of Invincible and take over the planet by any means necessary. Conquest arrived on Earth at a very, very bad time. You see, Invincible's variants just finished laying waste around the globe. Many cities were leveled, and thousands were killed. I already made a video on the Invincible War, so I won't go into details of what happened, but the destruction is beyond comprehension. Invincible stepped out to help the injured, but there's really nothing left to help, and Invincible is devastated about it, given the fact that it was his variant that caused the destruction in the first place. Soon, Conquest arrived at the scene. He doesn't care about the destruction that just happened. He's only here to check on Invincible's progress, and if there's none, he is to assume the task. He told Invincible if he opposes, he's going to kill him. On a normal day, Invincible will oppose the Viltramite just like he did with Anissa, and now is no different. Even now is worse because Mark is not in his right mind. He told Conquest this is not the right time. Of course, Conquest doesn't care. He was sent specifically because the Empire knew Invincible would resist. You see, Invincible is very angry about the Invincible War, and he tells Conquest following his emotions, he's looking for something he could punch as hard as he can. Without wasting time, they charged at each other, and the shockwave caused a large amount of debris to rise up as well as workers losing their balance. Conquest easily overpowers Invincible, crashing him through a building. He tells Invincible of how Anissa would be telling him how stupid Invincible would be to stop the Viltramites from conquering Earth. Conquest goes on to say that, unlike Anissa, he doesn't care about the Viltramites' cause and wants Mark to resist, because he enjoys it. Mark uses the opportunity to punch him. Conquest isn't affected and smiles. Mark becomes angry and rushes into him, sending him through the building. Conquest lifts the debris and holds Mark by his neck with one arm. Mark bangs his fist on Conquest's ears, and without wasting time, he punches him again and launches him into orbit. Conquest smiles again and charges him back to the stratosphere. Mark breaks his hold, saying that he tried it already, and this was when Conquest has had enough and begins to be serious with the fight. He gives Mark a serious punch to the face, sending him crashing down with high speed. Mark holds his hand over his eye, which was severely bruised from Conquest's punch. Oliver, Debbie, and her boyfriend Paul witness Mark's battle on the news. Oliver rushes to help Invincible, but clearly Oliver is still young and weak because he was finding it difficult to keep up with their speed as they tear through buildings. Mark attempts to talk with Conquest, but Conquest refuses to stop since he's enjoying the battle. Oliver catches up with them and immediately pushes Conquest away, but Conquest grabs him and demands to know who Oliver is before he finishes him. Invincible rushes to save Oliver and throws him aside so he can escape. Conquest pushes Mark down with his elbow at his neck. Mark headbutts Conquest, making him bleed for the first time. Much to his amusement, he catches Mark's punch and states how disappointed he is at Invincible's weakness, and if this goes on, it's not going to end well for him. Under the Pentagon, Cecil learns of the battle and rushes to see if D.A. Sinclair has the four alternate marks ready as reanimant. Sinclair informs him that their dense tissue makes him unable to cut through to make the reanimant process. Cecil looks in horror, stating, Then God help us all. In the hospital, Eve's parents watch the news by Eve as she recovers. The news mistakenly believes 
conquest to be Omni-Man. Eve wakes up after two days of being in a coma, asking where Mark is. She sees Mark fighting on TV and rushes to be ready to help. She accidentally reveals his identity as invincible to her parents. Eve tells a doctor to get Cecil to transport her to the battle. While Eve waits for Cecil's arrival, Conquest and Invincible are still going at each other, basically crashing into everything. Conquest tosses Mark around effortlessly and reveals that he met his father while Nolan was younger and that his execution was finally ordered before he was sent to Earth. Oliver interrupts and catches him off guard and helps Mark up. Oliver uses Conquest's advanced age as a reason they can team up and beat him. Conquest argues that him being old doesn't mean you should underestimate him. He swats Mark away to fight Oliver. He punches Oliver and breaks his arm. Conquest attempts to rip him in half, but Mark immediately rushes in to separate them. Conquest goes back to fighting Mark. While Conquest is busy with Invincible, Cecil teleports his med team to pick up Oliver. Everybody watches in horror, seeing Mark overwhelmed by Conquest. Conquest punches Mark, and he flies across the ocean. Conquest grabs him and launches him into a destroyer ship over an island. Meanwhile, Eve tries to convince Cecil to teleport her to their location. Cecil said it's pointless that they're moving at an incredible speed. Eve states that she doesn't care that if she could get to their location in time, she could trap Conquest with a force field. Back to their fight, as Conquest smashed Mark into different things, Mark got angry and punched Conquest, and he hit Eve's shield. Finally, Eve arrived to assist Mark, much to Mark's horror. Mark attempts hold him off, but Conquest breaks Mark's leg, causing him to shriek in pain. Eve holds Conquest into a bubble, but he easily breaks out of it. Conquest easily pummels Eve and impales her. Disappointed, Conquest throws her away, and Mark catches her. This is where things start to get messy. I want you to sit back and prepare for the next few panels, and also don't forget to subscribe. Mark holds Eve in his arms, trying to keep her breathing. Conquest laughs in Mark's face after he thanked Mark, stating that it's not really often he gets to cut loose like this. On a norm, the mission parameters are always don't destroy this, or keep a certain person alive and Mark's resistance made the Empire to send Conquest, and he's to take control of the planet, whatever it takes, so he gets to go all out. Invincible looks at Conquest in anger and assures Conquest won't live to see the next day. Conquest laughed, impressed by Invincible's threat. Conquest tells Mark to do his worst, and the duo charge into one another. The duo punch one another, causing Mark to break his forearm and Conquest's cybernetic arm to be completely destroyed from the impact. As Conquest looks at his destroyed arm, Mark punches him. Conquest attempts to bear hug Mark, but Mark bites him, tearing off his muscle tissue. Conquest throws Mark away, and immediately, Mark comes rushing back. And from the looks, Conquest knew Mark is not joking around. While Conquest and Mark fight, Eve somehow wakes up from her near-death state and rebuilds her body. Mark pummels Conquest, until he is distracted by Eve's revival. Conquest punches Mark while he is distracted, and Eve fires a beam of energy at Conquest, burning much of his skin. Eve loses consciousness, and Conquest said he's going to make sure she stays dead this time. Mark appears from behind, saying he won't hurt her, and he gives Conquest a face-wrecking punch. Conquest catches his punch and breaks Mark's hand, causing him to scream in pain. Conquest laughs as Mark is in pain, saying he still has more than enough to defeat Mark. Mark grinds his teeth and headbutts Conquest, asking Conquest if he's enjoying himself now. He headbutts him again and again, multiple times to the point where his face is disfigured. Mark sees that Conquest is no longer moving, and he crawls to Eve, seeing that she's well in one piece, much to his surprise. They exchange some small talk and express their love to each other before they lose consciousness. The Guardians of the Globe, Youngblood, Savage Dragon, and various Image Comics superheroes arrive at the scene to assist them, but the battle is already over. After three days, Mark wakes up from his coma after being patched up from having his forearm broken, hand broken, skull fractured, and his leg broken. Eve visits him, relieved to see him awake. She asks if he remembers what happened. The thought of it makes him cry, and recalls how he thought she died. In order to get more answers about the Viltrumites, Cecil Stedman made a fake copy of Conquest's body to show Invincible. He encased him in a 400-ton prison in the Mojave Desert. Days later, Conquest fully healed from his injuries and easily escaped into space. He then smiled and headed to a Viltrumite warship. He reported to the Viltrumite Grand Regent, Thrag. He bowed to him at the request of Craig. 
He reported his failure to the Viltramite Grand Regent. Thrag compared him to an animal and cited his failure for reasons not to let him live. Thrag forgave him and tasked him to return to kill Invincible, Nolan, and anyone who is assisting in the Coalition cause. 